are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. Hi, I'm Qasim and I have a dream that one day I'll be telling my kids the stories of me visiting every country in the world. But today, doing this video, I'm sacrificing that dream. And if you want to know why, stay with me and I will tell you. But for now, let me tell you the story of my people. 500 Palestinians who today are forced to evacuate their homes, the ones they've been living in for decades, so some settlers can board on some planes and come take these houses that they don't own. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Imagine an unjust court telling you that you have to leave the house you grew up in, the one you got married in, the one that you were planning to spend the rest of your life in. So someone from, I don't know, the US can come and steal the house illegally and be proud about it. What's being stolen here is the last glimpse of hope that maybe one day Palestinians in Jerusalem will get justice. Especially that this neighborhood is well located in the heart of Palestinian Jerusalem and it's unacceptable for an Israeli settlement to be there. And I had to tell this story today because for some reason International media decided to stay silent. So, Israel claims that before 1948, these lands and houses belonged to Jews. And court has decided that the claim is right. But are you really serious, dear court? Before 1948, Palestinians, Muslim and Jews lived peacefully together. And no Palestinian would take the land or house of another Palestinian or human. That's only what Israel does. Not us. But if you're actually serious, how about you give my grandfather back his house in Yaffa? The one he lost in 1948. Of course you wouldn't. But anyway, the real story here is that Jordan donated these lands in Jerusalem and UNRWA decided to donate the money to build houses on them so these refugees from Yaffa and other parts of occupied Palestine can have homes after Israel occupied their homes. So imagine getting kicked out of your house twice due to occupation. First, in 1948 from Yaffa and other parts of occupied Palestine and 60 years later from Jerusalem. Dear world, my people are told occasionally, why don't you just make peace with Israel? It's all in the past now, just get over it. But you have to understand that what's happening is an ongoing occupation. Lands are still being taken. Settlements, illegal ones are still being built and the people of Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood are fighting for their right to stay in their homes right this moment you're watching. They're being assaulted, brutally beaten and killed. And that's why I had to talk about it. And this is not just news. You can easily follow and see what's happening live if you go on some accounts on Instagram of the people who are living there. I can see live what's happening there and you can easily see the brutality of the Israeli army and forces and back to my dream it's quite known that Israel controls the borders of Palestine and they don't let anyone in if they speak up about what's happening so I'm sad to tell you that probably I will visit every country in the world and tell my kids the stories, but not of my own Palestine. So please, if you're watching this, share the story. Don't underestimate the power of social media. Let the world know what's happening and use the hashtag Save Sheikh Jarrah. Thank you.